Hi, today we're looking into how we can actually manage your child accounts in SQL Accounting. So to do this, all we just need to do is we come to GL, maintain account, and then open here. So from here, you can actually see the predetermined child accounts already preset inside the system. We have already predetermined things like your current assets, non-current assets, uh, current liabilities. Here we have equity, sales, cost of sales, and expenses, right? Okay, so for this, today's example, what happened is we will be looking into how we want to create a new expense account. So to create a new one, we need to click expenses here. And today, let's say we want to create one called EIF employer, right? So let's say we want to create just below so, so employer. We can come here, we press new. We put the code 909. Let's see. Uh, here, the dash 100. Alright, so we begin the description here as EIF employer. Okay, so once you press OK, straight away you can see EIS employer appears here. Okay, so another feature that actually SQL accounting has is actually we are allowing users to actually create subheaders for their child account. So subheader would have a direct impact into your such as your copy and uh, balance sheet and it will just show you one whole line of account codes there all right so let's see from here we close this first we go reports here we go to copy and loss report all right so for this example i will just include zero balance and then we just press number two we press apply so of course straight away when you look at here you can see things like salaries, EAPF employer, social employer, EIS employer. So if you have a lot of child accounts, then this PL will look very very long. Alright? So we see how we can actually shorten it by creating subheaders. So one of the subheaders that we like to do in my consult would be things like creating subheader for HR expenses. Alright? So we go back here. Let's say for example in my expenses side. We want to create a uh, HR expenses. Maybe we start at 930. Alright, so we come back here. Expenses here. We create new. Put 930 000. We can put this is HR expenses. Alright. Okay. So in HR expenses, we have things like your salaries, EPS, so also EIS. So if you want to move it, all we just need to do is we need to click here, drag it under HR expenses. Same thing for the rest. Yeah. So so. EIS. Okay. Directors revenue. So can be done here. Okay. Maybe sales commission. And then overtime. Okay. So of course, uh, when you look at here, you can see this is nine three zero. Then this nine zero four. So as a user, you can still edit this. We can click edit. So we can say uh nine three zero dash. 100 all right and then yes and then of course uh, we can just change one by one later all right okay so now let's look back at our PL report so we close this one we open back our reports profit and loss report okay so we include zero balance again and we press apply so if you look at my PL so I will have only one line called HR expenses. Alright. So however, sometimes HR expenses can be a lump sum value. Um, the management team might say, okay, I want to see the detail breakdown. So if you want to generate the detail breakdown, all we just need to do is you see up here we have one called show up to level. So we said let's say we want to go up one level to level three. Press apply. So when you come down, you can see okay, HR expenses consists of all these. And then the 2000 belongs to salary. Alright. So, one of the good things about SQL accounting is we can create multiple subheaders. So, you can go up to level 3, level 4, level 5, level 6, level 7, up to you. Alright. Okay, so that's it for today. We hope that you find this guide helpful. Do like and subscribe to get notified when we release a new guide.